the Pink Mini um, is a very uncommon jellyfish on our coast. Um, 50 years ago, the first sample was taken of the Pink Mini, um, and then fairly recently, there's been a very big gap of us trying to find it again. What's very interesting about the Pink Mini is the fact that our one is found in cold water versus all the other species found in warmer waters. And our pink mini likes eating um, semi-stone jellyfish like compass jellyfish and nightlight jellyfish, whereas the ones in the northern hemisphere um, in the Mediterranean and off the Gulf of Mexico like eating moon jellies and, and yolk jelly, so to say. So our pink mini is pretty special because A, it's from cold water and B, it's pretty really seen. Um, and so we haven't had time to describe it yet because it appears and disappears so easily. But because of citizen, citizen science and because more people can identify what it is, we've been able to find more areas where it has appeared, so to say. So the pink mini, mini's name is actually very um, it's ironic. It's in fact because it's a pink thing and so it's supposed to be kind and gentle and soft. But in actual fact, the pink mini is one of the most jellyvividus jellyfish in the world. Jellyvividus just means that it's a jellyfish that eats other jellyfish. Um, and one of the pink minis in the northern hemisphere off the Gulf of Mexico um, was once found with about 34 um, moon jellyfish in its bell that it was busy eating. So it's one of the most efficient jellies at eating jellies. On our coast, there's a very, very interesting picture taken a few years ago um, that won a National Geographic Prize where the pink mini eats two Cape Compass jellyfish, which is quite funny because Cape Compass jellyfish eats other jellyfish. So these two Cape Compass jellyfish was thinking that, oh, we're going to eat this, this big gelatinous jelly swing pastas, but in actual fact, the pink mini ended up eating them. Um, so pink mini just play on the fact that um, it's supposed to be a pretty pink little animal that looks like it has a tutu, but it's actually quite vicious in what it does. So this is the second time we have a pink mini at the Toshitz Aquarium. The first time it was also found by accident, but this time we were trying to grow nightlight jellyfish in captivity. So most jellyfish have a polyp stage um, that basically works like a butterfly with a, a caterpillar, a cocoon, and then you get the butterfly. Jellies normally have a, a polyp and a strawberry and then the jellyfish, whereas nightlight jellies, they don't have that stage at all. They basically are some of the few jellies that actually give up baby jellies directly. And so we were growing nightlights in order to make baby jellies, and after about three days, um, instead of having new baby jellies, we had no nightlights and a new pink mini instead. We generally think of jellyfish and four main groups. Um, we get Scyphozoans, which are true jellyfish. When you think of an umbrella and a stalk, we have Hydrozoan jellyfish. Those are the weird glow-in-the-dark spaceship-looking ones. Um, we get Cuban Medusa, um, which are the box-shaped jellyfish. And then we have Storozoa, which is another group of sessile jellyfish that really don't swim at all. And so in the group of true jellyfish, the pink mini fits into that group. Um, and it's quite interesting that when you look at jellyfish in general, they've got gastric filaments to help them digest their food, whereas the pink mini don't have them at all um, because they don't eat crustaceans or fish or fish eggs like all other jellyfish do. They actually eat only jellyfish, and that's how they've adapted themselves. So you can try feeding the pink mini something else, it will just let it go, whereas the pink mini itself only just wants to eat jellies and it can only absorb them. So uh, we haven't recorded a very big one on our coast yet. Um, I think. Um, a photographer took a picture of one a few weeks ago, a few weekends ago, and I think it was only about 30 centimetre bell diameter. The biggest we've grown one in captivity at the aquarium was at one from 2017. That one was a metre across. No, I'm exaggerating. Um, it might have been 50, 45, 50 centimetres across. Um, and jellyfish are not only measured by the bell diameter, but also their tentacle length. So when you start with a jellyfish, you get in a fiery that looks like a little snowflake, and they can be quite tiny but they get to grow to the biggest animals in the ocean. Um, most people think that the blue whale is the biggest animal um, because it grows 33 meters big, whereas a lion's mane jellyfish, the longest tentacles recorded was over 44 meters, so that eclipses a blue whale. Um, even a blue bottle, which is something you see often washing up in Musenberg Beach, also can have tentacle length of longer than 35 meters. So these animals, when it comes to tentacle length, tentacle length can get quite big. And they use these tentacles as fishing lines to either fish for other jellyfish or to fish for fish. Um, and whenever they get in contact with it, they sting it and they start pulling it in um, and start feasting on it. So the pink mini, we only see when there are very intense blooms of jellyfish. Um, so in the Northern Hemisphere, I mentioned when there's big um, smacks of moon jellyfish blooms, um, when, they're, when they're very, very intense. Um, these pink minis will start appearing, but on the South African coast, we don't have very big swarms of um, moon jellies. We either have big swarms of compass jellies, 
and big swarms of nightlight jellies. And so for this period of time, um, especially the last couple of months, lots of people have been reporting on seeing lots of nightlight jellies washing up, both on the te um, table view side and in false bear as well. So there's been lots and lots of food for these pink minis to eat. So only when these blooms are intense and there's enough food for these animals to appear, do they appear. And that's the only time we see them. And that's very infrequent for the southern Benguela, where we occur. Whereas in the northern Benguela, um, especially close to Luderitz, there are jellyfish blooms all around, but we don't have any records of finding pink minis up there.